Hey everyone, it's Tlor, and this week I'm going to be talking about a pretty big combo to try and find out what is the most damage that can be done in a single turn in a single action from a single ship. So if you can get an extra action, you can double this damage. Uh, and there's lots of potential interactions here, and we're also not going to be using the standard point break crew, the, the zero point crew that lets you exceed the point limit of the ship. So that should be really helpful. So a couple of things would be double shot, which is actually a piece of equipment uh, from Fire and Steel that lets you shoot two shots instead of just one. Um, this is only a single cannon that'll get to do that, but uh, if it hits, it can shoot again. If either one of them is a one, you remove double shot from the game and eliminate a mast. So this is a pretty high risk item uh, for one point and a cargo space. It's not too bad if you need to fill out a ship, but uh, the risk is you lose a mast and if your first shot doesn't hit, then you don't get to shoot it again. So if it hits, the cannon can shoot again. So really this is good on a, a high roller kind of ship and you need some way to be able to negate the ones or you're going to eliminate this equipment. Another piece that we'll look at would be a musketeer which gives the ship an additional cannon. Now this is different from a marine which is a completely separate cannon from the shoot action of the ship um, and we'll get to see those used in some interesting ways down the road um, but they are not going to be enhanced by ship abilities but it also means that they can shoot separately. But a musketeer is essentially part of the ship. It gets a very fixed cannon, so it can't have its range increased or its cannon roll increased, but it can still benefit from re-rollers uh, or any of the abilities that, like eliminating extra masts, that sort of thing. And then of course we've got Davy Jones because we're going to do some interesting things with Davy Jones this time. So it should come with no surprise that our base ship for this is the HMS Endeavor, which is from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. It's a five-masted ship with all 2L cannons, which that alone makes it one of the best ships in the game. Then it also eliminates two masts with one hit, and it has a really high point cap, so we can do lots of things with it. So this ship right here is uh, already out of the box without doing anything to it going to eliminate 10 masts. Now that also puts into question why not use a 10 masted ship. So we could use a 10 masted ship uh, you're just you're not gonna be able to get all of the same abilities you're gonna have to give up on something because no 10 masted ships have eliminating two masts with one hit so this would end up being the ability that we would copy with the 10 mast uh, instead of being able to copy an additional way to get more firepower out of it. So I figured it would be the most fun to use HMS Endeavor since this already has a pretty high damage reputation. Alright, so the first thing in order to get Davy Jones onto the ship is we've got to figure out how to get a uh, crew of any nationality on there. Now I'm going to use uh, Anna Maria instead of Brother Virgil because I don't have Brother Virgil yet. Uh, now Anna Maria is pirate, Brother Virgil is British. Um, so that would make this a legitimate combo. So right now this is just standing in because the point cost is going to be important for us to watch in this one. You could use Lady Kamel, but the six point cost is actually going to make this not work in this case. So now that we have crew of any nationality, uh, we can get Davy Jones on there and we're only up to 14 points. Now one of the things that we're going to run into is that we are going to very quickly exceed our point limit, but we're not going to use the castaway crew. What we're actually going to do is use Countess Diana Dune because she's linked to Brother Virgil. And this crew reduces the cost of all other crew placed on the ship by one. So she'll still cost two, but each of these crew is going to cost one less. So now we have two points instead of three for Brother Virgil and ten points instead of eleven for Davy Jones. So already this combo is taking up two cargo spaces and then we net zero on this one because we get plus one cargo for the link and she ends up being free so we've spent two points to get Countess Diana Dune and then we gain it back by reducing the cost of these so from here we're able to go ahead and throw on another crew uh, Captain Mycin who is loyal to pirates 
So we'll have to make sure we have pirates somewhere in our fleet, and we'll, we'll handle that on this ship. And when this ship is given a shoot action for every cannon roll of a six, now that can be enhanced, so if you have a way to get plus one, plus two, plus three onto the ship, you can make it so that if you roll a two, three, four, five, six, you're eliminating it an extra mast. Now the wording here is important. So we get two masts with one hit from HMS Endeavor, and then an additional mast when we roll, uh, I call it a crit roll, crit hit. So for a six, or if you have pluses, uh, lower numbers than that, um, then you're going to be able to eliminate three masts with each hit. So if you roll five sixes with this crew on there, you're now eliminating 15 masts. And that's just the start. So we haven't used Davy Jones with anything yet. So what we're going to end up copying is a longship. Now this is just one of the couple of longships that I have, but any longship will do just fine. So Davy Jones copies the longship, and the piece that we're interested in is part of the keyword longship. So longship says, when you give this ship a shoot action, roll two dice per mast and count each die as a separate attack. This ship has two cannons on each mast. So now you're going to count each of these twice. So you have 10 cannons that you're shooting. Each of those 10 cannons eliminates two masts with one hit and then eliminates an extra one on a six. So now we're up to 10 times three is 30. So we've knocked out 30 masts with the Endeavor uh, right out of the bat with, with this. Now we've only used up four cargo out of our five because we have plus one from the, the link between Countess Diana Dune and Brother Virgil. So what else can we put on the ship? Well, we can load up a musketeer. Now, this musketeer won't get to get doubled because of longship, but it will get to get double the damage because of HMS Endeavor, and of course, Captain Meissen will also allow us to get an additional damage. Now, you could sub in if you wanted to. You could sub in the double shot. Um, however, we're going to stick with the musketeer in this case, and notice that we chose pirate. So now we have a pirate to meet our loyal pirate requirement. One other thing is that we can also Early on in the game, we can copy this ability, which says, when this ship is docked at your home island, you can eliminate one treasure. It becomes a 3S cannon that can be eliminated only when this ship sinks. So we copy that ability with Davy Jones. We use it for a few turns. We're only going to assume that we use it once, just for the sake of brevity. And then you now have additional cannons on that ship. Now there is a crew that also allows you to do that, so you could bring that crew on board, generate some cannons, and then offload that crew to get back under your cargo limit. Uh, however you choose to do it, we end up with an additional cannon from this treasure to cannon ability. So we've got one, two, three, four, five crew on there. And uh, if we really want to, we can even throw on uh, First Mate Ismail, who will let us get an additional crew. Uh, space on there and then that allows us to be able to throw on the double shot so if we look at all of this we have one two three four five six seven uh, cargo spaces and then we have four from the ship five from the link and six from first mate ismail however first mate ismail does not take up cargo space so how are we on point limit? Well, if we remember, we were, we were reducing each of these by one, except for the double shot, because it's equipment, not crew. So 2 plus 10 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So this works perfectly. So there's several pieces here that if they're canceled, this all falls apart. Uh, but you can see pretty quickly uh, that this only works because HMS Endeavor has 21 points. Otherwise, we would have to be sacrificing a few pieces of this uh, to put Robinson on the ship and break the point limit. So, how many shots does that end up letting us use? Well, we're going to assume that we're not rolling poorly and we're rolling sixes. We're going to assume that the double shot goes off and uh, we also have our musketeer um, to give us lots of extra shots. So we have five, 
times 2 is 10 from the longship, which is copied with Davy Jones. With the musketeer is an 11th shot. The double shot is a 12th shot. So we have 12 shots that we're firing, and each of those eliminates two masts plus one due to our crit. So 12 times 3 is 36. So with a single action, you're able to get rid of 36 cannons. Now, if you throw uh, more of these 3S cannons on there, um, those can add additional shots that we're able to double. So 36, 39, etc. Uh, now, um, if we check the rules, none of these cannons take up cargo space. So we're able to es essentially take as many treasures as we want, put them on the ship, and make them into cannons. Uh, in all practicality, uh, this is not going to happen very much, and it'll be partway through the game before you start adding treasures on. But you can see 39 is what you can start the game out being able to eliminate. And as you bring treasures home, you can start stacking them onto the ship to get more. So, that's quite a lot of damage. Is that really that practical? Um, if you were to shoot at a 10-masted ship, uh, you would be able to take out three full 10-masted ships and nine masts of another one. So that's got to be a very high point limit game. Also notice that even though we have Countess Diana Dune on here, these crews still cost the full point value towards the point limit of the game. So with this, also notice we have these two very expensive ships out here. Uh, there's probably cheaper ways to get this than using a 13-point ship. Um, but if you look at this, we're not going to be able to do this in just a 40-point game. Even the HMS Endeavor plus all of these is 42 points. Then throwing in a long ship and some way to get the, the treasure cannons, uh, not to mention any portion of your fleet to be able to get treasures back home. This is definitely a 100 or 200 point game kind of strategy. So what of this is practical in a smaller game? You're not going to want to be able to use Davy Jones uh, just to copy the longship ability. Uh, that's, that's very expensive. And usually you're not going to want to use a crew uh, that reduces the cost of crew on the ship by one. Uh, you've got to have quite a few crew for that to be cost effective. It's net zero cost uh, if you only have two crew. So you'd really have to fill up the ship to really gain much out of it because uh, it does count against your point total for the game, uh, not necessarily the ship. And there's other ways that, and most of the time, you're not going to get a link. So like the link to Brother Virgil was uh, very beneficial here, um, but some ships just don't need that extra link. So you're taking up a cargo space to reduce one or two point cost. And then also notice that, like, Captain Mycin double shot, if you roll ones, you're going to be losing masts. So you can start doing damage to yourself, and with as many shots as we're getting out of a single mast, so a single mast is one cannon. That cannon is getting tripled. Uh, actually, it's getting an X6 multiplier because of longship. So you're shooting it twice, and each of those eliminates three masts. So... If you roll a 1, you've just lost out on 6 of your firepower. Uh, and double shot eliminates itself and a mast, so that eliminates even more firepower. So you've really got to be careful with those crit rollers. Uh, there are ways around that. Uh, Sir Rupert Hargreaves will let you roll two dice and choose which one you want. Um, there's also cannoneers that let you re-roll, but we're at our cargo capacity and point capacity on the ship, so there's no way to get any of those on here. Um, if you were to try and include something like Robinson instead of Countess Diana Dune, you wouldn't be able to include some of these other crew. First Mate Ismail would take up cargo space, it doesn't gain you anything, um, as well as all of these other crew. I mean, we're going to run out of crew space right around here, so you'd have to take off all of these and that that makes it pretty tough and then the last thing would be uh, there's not a lot of ships that eliminate two mass with one hit and this alone is enough damage to really take out any ship in the game so if you roll if you put plus one on this ship 
and you roll higher than a one on all of those, you've just taken out any other 10-masted ship in the game. And that's just with one shoot action. Uh, if you donate an action to the ship or have a captain on there uh, and are able to do damage that way, you can eliminate so much more. So this is really kind of an impractical strategy to cram this much damage multiplication on one ship. However, I do think that this crit roller is underutilized, especially since you can use plus one, uh, dam uh, plus one to your cannon rolls to be able to get this number lower. And, you know, if you have a way to get around the one that eliminates a mass from the ship, such as cannons are not eliminated when masts are, that's a great way to be able to use this crew. Alright, well, that's all that I've got for the maximum damage. Remember, 39 damage from, from all of these crew combinations. We've used everything from Spanish Main, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Frozen North. I think the only set, we've only skipped a couple of sets in being able to do this. So it's definitely not something you're going to be able to do very often. So, for next time, we're going to be talking about an interesting combination, which is a sacrifice captain, although this one's not a captain, and doctors. And we're going to be able to exploit that to generate some extra actions in the game. Once per turn, you can eliminate one of the ship's crew to give her an extra action, and whenever another face-up crew on the ship would be eliminated, turn it face down instead. But wait a minute, doesn't this mean when you turn it face down, you no longer get your extra action? Let's see if we can find out a way around that next time.